Hello, welcome back to Love Mish. If you're new here, we talk about all things personal, Polynesian, plus size, so if any of those things spark your interest, don't forget to subscribe down below. In honor of Childhood Cancer Awareness Month, which is September, I decided to ask a few of my family members to help me make a list of things that could be helpful for all of you who may be supporting people who have children who have cancer or have children who have other illnesses. So today we're gonna go over four points. We're gonna give you four ways that you can be a bomb support. I think that these four tips are applicable to everyone. So sit back, relax, and let's get into it. Tip number one, I would like you to share your talents. Yes, you. So I really want you to think about this. Are you super good at baking? Do you know how to dance? Can you sing? Do you make really bomb floral arrangements? Um, do you really like to organize? Do you like to clean? Everyone has talents to share, so let me get into that. You can share your talents by helping fundraise for the family in need. Now fundraising, it seems like um, a lot to take on, but in all honesty, um, if you do it with love, it it can be so rewarding. Fundraising is something that's really important for families in need because not a lot of funding goes to childhood cancer, like research or anything like that. And so the supports that are available are a lot less than any other um, type of cancer, which is ridiculous. The amount of money it takes to sustain this life that no one asked for is ridiculous, right? The the hospital visits, um, hopefully you have health insurance, the gas that takes you to and from the, um, the hospitals. You no, know, you change your life plans, you put your jobs on hold, you really rearrange your entire life and no one no one with a child with cancer should ever have to worry about their water bill, right? That's just not things that they should have to worry about, but they do worry about. If you know someone who is in a similar situation and you're wondering like, how can I help them? Use your talents. You go use your talents. I promise you, no talent is too small. It will all help. If you, you teach Zumba, go hold a Zumbathon. Like if you have a big social media presence, share their video. Like even those type of things, sharing fundraisers and advocating um, and getting that message across to people who could financially support, share your talents, tip number one. Okay, tip number two is acts of service. Acts of service, this is a really important one because a lot of times people will be like, hey, um, let me know if you need anything. And it's hard to to ask for help. It's hard for anyone to ask for help, but I know personally, so I'm only gonna speak on me. Like I know personally, my pride is like, nah, I got it. When I don't, I don't often have it. And so asking for help is very difficult, especially if you are a parent and, um, and especially if you don't know what you need. The life that you live when you have a child with cancer requires you to be on the go, to be in a constant state of panic, um, to always be wondering, to always be like you're pre-grieving and you're, there are so many emotions, there's so many things, right? So acts of service are very, very helpful and anyone can do it. And the best part about it is that it is absolutely free. Yes, we like free. It's absolutely free. So let's give you some ways on how you can freely give some acts of service. Simple tasks like grocery shopping or cutting the grass or making dinner is completely overwhelming for a parent who has a child who has cancer. And again, applicable to any person with a loved one with an illness, I just specifically am talking about Childhood Cancer Awareness because it is Childhood Cancer Awareness Month. One piece of advice that I would give personally is to not ask for help. Or to, no, no, not, not that. I need you to ask for help. Um, is to not ask, but to do. A lot of us will want to be like, let me know if you need anything. But a better way to say that is to think about what service you're wanting to give, whether it's like cutting the grass or um, bringing them dinner on Friday. Hey, I was really wanting to bring you guys dinner on Friday. Do you prefer Panda Express or do you want pizza from Costco? You're still giving them options, but it's still offering a service that they don't have to outrightly ask for. So something that is nice is to share resources and share less of our, um, opinions mm. yeah we'll save that for number four though tip number three is offering me time me time i speak from observing parents because i'm not a parent myself but um i think parenthood in general me time is kind of like pff, what's that so offering me time is just 
making sure that the parents or the loved ones who are taking care of someone are also being taken care of and so that can look like offering to take the other kids out for a sleepover like that was huge right um supporting the support system basically offering me time means any amount of of time that we can offer them to self-care to self-love allows them to be the best support for their loved one as possible so we support them so that they can support them and i think that's applicable for anyone really a lot of us never prioritize self-care I mean, we don't think about what we need as people every sunday i share a self-care tip but i i even need reminders often on how to uh, make sure that my cup is full so offering me time allows the family and the loved ones of the one who is affected to just have some time to remember that they are loved and that they are human and that they are um they are seen that they're seen okay last but definitely not least is tip number four so tip number four is to listen to listen to listen also do you like my earrings um to listen a natural reaction that we have when people are hurting is to go on and fix them like you want to fix them if someone is crying you want them to stop crying you want to make it better right childhood cancer is not something that you can fix unless you are in the medical field and um, are really good at finding you know cures and things like that then go on go on and find it oftentimes we show our love and we show our concern by trying to fix people and we forget to just listen to them um i promise you that no one has researched cancer no one has researched that specific cancer so for rexy it was neuroblastoma i promise you no one has researched neuroblastoma more than my sister has more than the the parent of a child who is a, who is um ill they are doing their due diligence to research to try to find anything to help their baby so something that we can do is we can show our concern by sending them love right um, sending them love and just sitting and listening to them if you are really wanting to send them love send them a funny TikTok, like send them a resource that you found helpful like this company helps pay for your rent for the next three months while you are in treatment send them resources that they might not have seen like that when people are struggling they really just want you to listen um because there are professional helps out there because therapy is great go to therapy just to recap our four points today on how to be a bomb support to those who are needing support is share your talents by organizing fundraisers or other ways to help them out and sharing their GoFundMes on all of your social medias. Acts of service, go mow some lawns, go grocery shopping for them, go do something, go pick them flowers, really anything. Go heart attack their door with little love notes, like all the things, all the things. Just go acts of service. It is free and anyone can do it. Number three, this one's for the mamas, this one's for the dads. Like this is for all of the family who are needing me time. Go offer some me time. Go take them out. Go eat. Go get your nails done. Go do something. Go sit in the garage and hang out. Three, me time. And number four is just to listen because as much as we want to fix other people, it is important for us just to listen because we are the support and they are the person needing support. And so we listen. Thank you guys for listening. I hope that you remember to um, continue to support those who are needing support. If you know someone who has a GoFundMe or anything like that, continue to share it on your social medias. That is how we can be bomb supports to those who are needing it. If you're wondering more about Rexy's journey with neuroblastoma, um, we have a bunch of videos that we did during his journey um, up on his Rexy Strong Instagram and Facebook page. I also have those links in my description box below. But in honor of Rexy, um, I just wanted to continue to encourage you guys to flex for Rex and to remember that the time that we have <sighs> with our loved ones is truly precious. And so I wanted to remind you to cherish every moment, to try to be a good support to those who are needing it. And just remember that you're not alone, that if you need help, I got you, I'm here for you. Um, my DMs are always open. And um, I'm sure Rexy would like to remind you guys to be strong. 
to be strong, stay safe, be kind, and I'll see you next time.